All right. My name is Jeremy Broussard. I own Broussard Wraps in Gonzales, Louisiana. I do vinyl wraps, decals, stickers, banners, shirts, koozies. I do a lot. But my background is painting bodywork. I figured if I could paint a car, I could put a sticker on one. But from time to time, you run into issues of people that did not know what they were doing, and now I have to fix it. This is one of them examples. This car has been repainted and then wrapped, but the prep work on the car was not done correctly. Therefore, the wrap peeled the clear coat off the car. Now it has to be repainted, which is costing the customer thousands of dollars because people do not know what they're doing when they're doing body work. If you don't know what you're doing, don't touch it. Otherwise, you end up costing people thousands of dollars and headaches, and they end up at my place so that I can do it right. And I'm not even a body man anymore. I do vinyl. But I'm going to show you all what I'm talking about. The clear coat, base coat, has to be sanded enough that the clear coat and base coat can stick to the car, but not enough that it won't stick. So about 600 grit or a scuff pad, you cannot just put two scratches in it and expect the clear coat to stick and you end up with this issue. All right. <clears throat> you can see here where I'm sanding it, the clear coat is not sticking to the car. You have to sand it down until all of the clear coat that is not stuck is coming off. So when you put the new paint on there, it will stick and will not come back off the car. But you sand it so much, you run into issues where you burn through the paint. There's some more half-ass work. Look how all that clear coat's peeling. You can see it's shiny underneath. If it's shiny underneath, it's not sanded enough for the new paint to stick. If you don't know what you're doing, don't touch it. Don't ruin a 2015 twin turbo Mustang that has to be repainted because you don't know what you're doing. Stop touching it if you don't know how to touch it. Look at all that coming off. Ruining it. See how it's barely got any scuff to it? That's not any good. So what happens, you end up sanding it down to where you have to Get all the stuff that's peeling off. Now you have to paint the deck lid. And you just create yourself a mass confusion of work for somebody else because you said, oh, yeah, I can do it, and you screwed it up. If you don't know what you're doing, don't touch it. But get more work for me. So, I mean... Do it right or don't do it at all. That's the way I say.